Have you ever pondered the lengths people will go to for the hope of a better life? This question echoes in our minds as we delve into the tragic incident that unfolded on the bustling shipping lanes of the channel. A small vessel overcrowded with 112 hopeful souls embarked on a perilous journey, their eyes set on the promise of a brighter future. The vessel was hardly equipped to carry such a load, yet desperation outweighed the dangers. The voyage was far from calm. The vessel encountered distress, a stone's throw away from the safety of the shore. Panic gripped the passengers. Their dream of a better life was on the brink of turning into a nightmare. Yet in the face of such adversity, rescuers fought against the odds. Approximately 50 individuals were pulled from the icy clutches of the water. Four of them were in urgent need of medical attention, their bodies bearing the brunt of the ordeal. But not everyone was keen on being rescued. Some migrants chose to stay aboard the ill-fated vessel, resolute in their determination to reach British soil. Their eyes were filled with determination, their hearts with hope. They were willing to risk it all in the pursuit of a better life. Yet, the cost of this pursuit was high. Five lives were lost to the unforgiving waters of the channel, including the innocent life of a child. It's a harsh reminder of the human cost of such desperate journeys. The question that lingers in the aftermath is not just about the loss, but also accountability. Five lives were lost in this tragic incident, including a child's. But who is responsible? The answer to this question lies ahead as we delve deeper into this heart-wrenching incident. Who facilitates these dangerous crossings, risking lives for profit? The question hangs heavy in the air as we delve deeper into this tragic incident. At the heart of this story are three individuals arrested by the British police, two Sudanese nationals just at the cusp of their 20s, 22 and 19 years old, and a South Sudan national also aged 22. These men were apprehended under the suspicion of facilitating illegal immigration and unlawfully entering the UK. Their actions, if proven, have not only violated international law, but have also put innocent lives in danger, leading to the unfortunate demise of five migrants, including a young child. These men are suspected to be the ones who orchestrated this perilous journey across the Channel, one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. They are believed to have crammed 112 individuals into a small vessel, disregarding the risk and the blatant disregard for human life. The overcrowded boat, ill-equipped to handle the treacherous journey, encountered distress not far from the shore, leading to panic among the passengers. Charges against these men are grave. Facilitating illegal immigration is a severe crime, as it not only undermines the law, but also endangers the lives of those desperate enough to undertake such risky journeys. Unlawfully entering the UK further complicates their case, indicating a disregard for the legal processes in place for immigration. The National Crime Agency, or the NCA, has taken the lead in the investigation. According to the NCA, they will do all they can with partners in the UK and France to secure evidence, identify those responsible for this event, and bring them to justice. This incident has put the spotlight on the criminal gangs involved in organizing these dangerous crossings, prompting a call for action against them. But the story does not end with these arrests. There is an ongoing investigation, a pursuit for justice, and a quest to prevent such tragedies in the future. Join us as we explore further in the next scene. What happens after such a tragedy strikes? That's the question that's been on everyone's mind ever since this heartbreaking incident took place. Now, the National Crime Agency, or the NCA, in conjunction with the French police, are working tirelessly to solve this complex puzzle. What we know so far is that the three men apprehended, two Sudanese nationals aged 22 and 19, and a South Sudan national aged 22, are being questioned on suspicion of facilitating illegal immigration and unlawfully entering the UK. But the investigation is far from over. The NCA and their French counterparts are digging deeper, trying to piece together the circumstances that led to this catastrophe. In the words of NCA Deputy Director of Investigations, Craig Turner, This tragic incident once again demonstrates the threat to life posed by these crossings and brings into focus why it is so important to target the criminal gangs involved in organizing them. His words underline the urgency of the situation and the need to dismantle these dangerous networks. 
As the investigation progresses, authorities are also identifying the 55 individuals who were believed to have been on the overcrowded vessel. This is a crucial aspect of the probe, as it provides insights into the routes used by these gangs and the desperate lengths people will go to in search of a better life. The investigation is a race against time as more than 6,000 people have arrived in Britain this year via small overloaded boats risking their lives on the treacherous waves, and each day that passes sees more individuals embarking on the same dangerous journey propelled by hope and desperation. And while the investigation continues, so does the influx of migrants. The hope is that with each breakthrough in the investigation, we move one step closer to preventing further tragedies in the future. What drives people to undertake such perilous journeys? This is a question that resonates as we delve deeper into the larger context of this tragic incident. The allure of a better life of safety and security is a powerful motivator. It's a beacon that has led more than 6,000 individuals to brave the treacherous waters of the English Channel just this year. These people, desperate and determined, have embarked on dangerous journeys in small overloaded vessels, often nothing more than flimsy inflatable dinghies, risking everything to reach the shores of Britain. But the narrative doesn't end there. In fact, it's become increasingly complex. Just hours after the deadly crossing that claimed five lives, the British Parliament passed a bill that could drastically change the fate of asylum seekers who arrive in Britain without permission. This new legislation opens the door for these individuals to be deported to Rwanda. According to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, the intention behind this policy is to deter people from making the dangerous cross-channel journey in the first place. But one has to question, is this bill a solution or does it merely shift the problem elsewhere? It's clear that the issue is multifaceted, with roots deeply embedded in the socio-economic and political landscapes of the countries these migrants are fleeing from. The question then is not just about deterrence, but about addressing the root causes that drive these desperate journeys in the first place. As we continue to grapple with these questions, let's not lose sight of the human lives at stake here and the tragic cost of desperation. What can we do in the face of such a crisis? This is a question that many of us grapple with. While it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of these issues, there are concrete actions we can all take. First and foremost, stay informed. Knowledge is power. And understanding the complexities of this issue is the first step towards making a difference. This means going beyond the headlines to understand the root causes of migration and the dangers that these individuals face in their pursuit of a safer life. Empathy is key. It's easy to get lost in the statistics. But remember that each number represents a person. Each one has a name, a family, dreams, fears, and hopes. They are more than just a statistic on a news report or a faceless figure in a crowd. They are humans, just like you and me, and they deserve our compassion and understanding. Support organizations that are working tirelessly to help refugees. These groups provide much-needed aid and support to individuals who have been forced to flee their homes. They offer food, shelter, medical care, and other vital resources. They help refugees navigate the complex legal processes of seeking asylum. Your support, whether financial or through volunteer work, can make a huge difference in their efforts. Lastly, hold your governments accountable. Demand humane immigration policies that respect human rights and dignity. Call for safe and legal pathways for individuals seeking refuge. Remember, these are not just political issues, they are matters of life and death. Remember, every number represents a life, a story, a hope for a better future. Let's not forget that.